I'm Anthony Trujillo, Senior Suspension Engineer for the Specialized Mountain Bike Suspension Team. In order to maximize your riding experience, I'm here to guide you through fine-tuning the suspension on your new 2008 Enduro. The first step is to prep your Enduro correctly. That will ease the process of setting up your suspension. Second, set the air pressure for the fork and rear shock. Third, measure the suspension sag and adjust air pressures if necessary. Fourth, set your rebound. Last, set your compression. This process can be performed anywhere and only requires the following items. A high pressure suspension bicycle pump, the sagometer included with your 2008 Enduro, a measuring tape, the suspension owner's manual, and your riding gear including your hydration pack full with water. Your riding kit including your hydration system is an optional item to simulate actual riding weight during suspension setup. The first step to setting your suspension correctly is to prep your Enduro. Make sure to clean any dirt or residue on the suspension components that may interfere with the movement or visibility of the travel indicator o-rings or damping adjustment knobs. Once clean, move the travel indicator o-rings to the dust wipers on both the fork and rear shock. These travel indicator o-rings indicate how much your suspension moves during riding. If you don't have any o-rings, attach a small zip tie around one of the fork legs or on the shock body. Now adjust your seat to your proper ride height. Next, I'll walk you through the pre-adjustment of your fork and rear shock. A neutral suspension setting allows for a consistent and accurate sag setup. Starting at the rear shock, churn the blue compression lever on the shock eyelet to the number one soft setting. The position is also labeled S on the lever when looking down the shock from above. To pre-adjust the rebound, Turn the red dial just behind the blue compression lever entirely counterclockwise to the full fast setting. Moving to the front fork, turn the blue compression lever located on the top right fork leg entirely counterclockwise to the full soft setting. Turn the red rebound knob located on the top of the right fork leg entirely counterclockwise to the full fast setting. Additionally, for the specialized E150 fork, turn the black travel adjust lever entirely counterclockwise to the fully extended travel position. Now that your 2008 Enduro has been prepped, we're ready for step two, setting the air pressure according to your weight. For a precise adjustment, wear all riding gear, including your hydration system, to determine the correct pressure setting. Have the suspension owner's manual open with the weight to air pressure matrix visible. Starting with the rear shock, remove the air valve cover located on the shock eyelet. Carefully screw the pump head onto the air valve and measure the current pressure in the shock. Compare your current pressure with the recommended initial pressure to weight setting in the manual. You will need to inflate or deflate your shock to obtain the correct pressure to weight setting. To add pressure, gently pump the handle to the recommended initial pressure setting. To deflate air pressure in the shock, Gently press the pressure release button on the pump in short increments to obtain the recommended initial pressure setting. Now, carefully unscrew the high pressure suspension pump. You can leave the air valve cover off the rear shock until your sag is properly adjusted. Moving to the specialized E150 fork, remove the air valve cover located on the bottom of the left fork leg. Carefully screw the pump head onto the air valve and measure the current pressure in the fork. Compare your current pressure with the recommended initial pressure to weight setting in the manual. You will need to inflate or deflate your fork to obtain the correct pressure to weight setting. To add pressure, gently pump the handle to the recommended setting. To deflate, press the pressure release button to get the correct setting. You can leave the air valve cover off the fork until your sag is properly adjusted. The next step is to measure and, if necessary, adjust the sag setting. To measure, you will want a location where you can gently roll on your bike in a seated position 3 to 5 meters or 9 to 15 feet. You will also need your sagometer included with your 2008 Enduro and either a tape measure or ruler. First, ensure your travel indicator o-rings are pushed up against the fork and shock dust wipers. Then carefully mount your bike as to not compress the suspension more than your body weight. Roll or pedal softly in your seated riding position to help balance your weight on the bike. 
After rolling 9 to 15 feet, carefully dismount the bike. Look at your shock and use the sagometer included with your enduro to measure the distance between the shock dust wiper and travel indicator o-ring. Your sag is set properly if the o-ring falls within the groove of the sagometer as shown. If the o-ring is above the groove on the sagometer, you have too much air pressure in your shock for your weight. Remedy this by decreasing air pressure in the shock with the pump. If the o-ring falls below the groove in the sagometer, you have too little air pressure in the shock for your weight. Remedy this by adding air pressure with the pump. If the o-ring is above the groove on the sagometer, push the o-ring against the rear shock dust wiper. Gently sit on the bike, roll a few meters, and remeasure with the sagometer. Repeat this process until you have the right amount of shock sag. The fork is measured with a ruler or measuring tape. The o-ring should be between 37.5 and 45 millimeters from the fork dust wiper for the recommended initial sag setting. If the o-ring is above 45 millimeters, you must add pressure with the pump. If the o-ring is below 37.5 millimeters, you must decrease pressure with the pressure release valve on the pump. After setting your sag, make sure you screw both air valve covers for the shock and fork back on. Now that you have set your sag, you are ready to dial in your rebound and compression damping. For the initial rebound setting for the specific air pressure, refer to your owner's manual. For a faster rebounding shock, turn the red rebound knob counterclockwise. For a slower rebounding shock, turn the red rebound knob clockwise. Similar to the shock, set your rebound on the fork by turning the red dial counterclockwise for a faster rebound and clockwise for a slower rebound. Feel free to experiment on the trail and remember that one to two clicks of the rebound adjusters for both the fork and shock can have a large effect on the ride characteristics of your suspension. The last step in your enduro suspension setup is adjusting your compression settings. For the 2008 Specialized Enduro Mountain Bike, both the fork and shock have low speed on the fly compression adjusters. These adjustments can be easily adjusted while riding to a maximum or minimum setting ideal for climbing or descending as well as positions in between for a set it and forget it mode. Starting with the shock, we recommend a full firm setting on hard pack and asphalt terrain. To set your compression to full firm, turn the blue lever located on the shock eyelet clockwise to the number four position. This position is also labeled F when looking down at the shock from above. For loose gravel, technical, or muddy terrain, we recommend turning the blue lever to the number one setting. This position is also labeled S on the lever when looking down at the shock from above. Please take the time to become familiar with the feel of the settings in between. In many riding conditions, you can fine tune the compression setting in between the max and min positions for an efficient and set it and forget it mode. Switching to the fork for hard pack and asphalt terrain, Set your compression by turning the blue lever located on the top of the right fork leg entirely clockwise to the full firm setting. For loose gravel, technical, or muddy terrain, we recommend turning the blue lever entirely counterclockwise to the full soft setting. Your 2008 Enduro is now set and ready to ride. Make sure to monitor and adjust the compression and rebound settings accordingly. For further in-depth knowledge about suspension theory and the suspension on your 2008 Enduro, go to Specialized.com and click on the Suspension section of the site. Thank you very much for taking the time to set up your suspension to our recommended initial settings. We strongly feel this will ensure the ultimate riding experience on your new Enduro mountain bike.